Let me tell you guys what happened. It's stupid as. Oh. Stupid ass. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, oh. I forgot that everyone's freaking sleeping right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Louie's Life. So for this week's video, I have another chisme mukbang. You're probably watching this like, Louie, ¿por qué estás bien pinche emocionado? It's because of the food that I have right in front of me. Ya me la quiero comer. Again, I'm going to be talking a little low in this video porque todos en mi casa ya están dormidos. Y como siempre, I'm the one up, I'm making all the fucking noise, filming, eating. Ya me conocen. So I'm going to try to keep my voice hella low pa que todos duerman a gusto porque si no ya saben my parents are gonna come out con la chancla, el cinto, el gancho, el cable con todo y me van a chingar pero like I said for this week's video I have another mukbang for you I wish you guys could see the table that I have in front of me filled with all the food ahorita les voy a enseñar all the food that I'm gonna be eating one by one but I wish you guys can see it all together because it looks so bomb that my mouth is watering so as always I'm gonna be giving you guys some cheese me eating some food pero not just any food, some Mexican antojitos. So ya tu sabes, if you're at home, go grab some food, some antojitos, some chips, some takis. Ve a comprar algo, pero go eat something, sit down, and let's chismear. You guys know I love filming these chisme videos because I get to sit down, comer como puerquito, y darles todo el chisme. Porque ya sí que les gusta el chisme. So anyways, let me just shut the fuck up y déjales enseño what I'm going to be eating for this week's mukbang. So como les dije, it's going to be a Mexican antojitos mukbang. I have this mangoneada. I want to eat this right now. Like, ahorita, like, tengo este vaso de fresa con cremas, which I'm also dying to eat right now. Y también tengo esto. I forgot the name of it, but it's pretty much like an elote, but in a little baggie de tostitos. So it has the little tostito chips, and it has the queso that goes on an elote, has a little chile, and it has, obviously, elote. My mouth is watering so bad while I'm talking about this. Like, literally watering. I don't want to eat anything until I start the chisme, but like, me muero por comérmelo ya. Y también tengo esta agüita de rompope. And then I also bought a bunch of paletas. So I have this paleta. It's um, chile con pepino. Obviously, you can see the freaking pepino ahí todo pegado. También compré esta de horchata, which I want to try so bad para ver cómo sabe. Compré esta de vainilla. This is vanilla. It doesn't look like van... I think they gave me the wrong one. <gasps> this is piña. Estúpida. Oh my God, I'm pretty sure this is piña. Oh my god, this is piña. Oh! To all my piña lovers out there, I'm sorry, but I fucking hate piña. Y yo le pedí de vainilla. Oh my god. Anyways, I also bought this one. It's the same as this cup. Es fresas con crema. Let's learn. And final but not least, compré esta paleta because it looks so pretty and purple. Pero esta es de cotton candy. So these are all the paletas. <laughs> Y si estúpida, you're probably looking at me like, bitch, you're gonna eat all that? Si, I know que tengo el cuerpecito bien chiquito, pero trust me, a bitch can eat. I don't even know where to start. Hopefully, I don't get fucking chorro like last time. After my last mukbang with the hot Cheetos, I'm not even kidding you guys. For like five days or a whole week, I had chorro. Because I ate two big ass bags. I was literally in the bathroom like, like a whole fucking week. Las cosas que hago para ustedes para chismear. That was so loud. My parents are gonna come out right now. But anyways, deja ya me callo, and let's get started with this cheese my video. So I'm dying to try this. Every time I look at this, I'm gonna la pinche boca agua. <laughs> Alright, stupid ass. I already know this is gonna be a long ass video because I have so much chisme to tell you guys. So the topic for this week's cheese my video is gonna be my relationship life. My relationship, love life, is the number one thing que siempre me preguntan. Like the number one most asked question ever. I asked you guys on my Instagram, which if you don't follow, persígueme now. But I told you guys to ask me all the questions that you guys had about my relationship, love life. Y yo se las iba a hacer answer en este video. I thought this was a straw. Bro, no, le tengo que comer abajo. <laughs> Ah! 
<laughs> I fucking hate cherries. Lárgate. Okay, so I'm gonna be answering you guys' questions, telling you some little stories, experiences that I've had with some hombres. And if one of the questions leads up to a story, I will make sure to tell you guys that story. Pero ya, a que comenzar. Okay, so right off the bat, I see this question. What's one thing you hate about being in public with your boyfriend? I think the only thing that I would say I dislike is that I don't always have the privacy that I want. Y no piensen mal, I don't mean that because I want to be out in public like, <sighs> with like my fucking boyfriend or my chill appointment, like that's not what I mean. I don't do porquerias out in public. Mm. But what I mean by that is that Obviously, when I'm out in public, I don't have the privacy that sometimes I wish I did have. Like, I'll give you guys an example of something that happened to me. Just like in every single relationship, there's always problems. There's always little fights, little peleas, little arguments. No one can really, like, prevent that from happening. Siempre pasa. Relaciones perfectas no hay. Solo personas perfectas como yo. <laughs> Let's be serious. This one time I was with one of my novios and we went to a theme park, you know, to get on some rides, have fun, y toda la cosa, todo el rollo. And while we were at the theme park, I remember we got into an argument. Ni me acuerdo de qué fue el argument, but we got into like a little argument. Well, no les voy a mentir, it wasn't even a little argument, porque yo me puse de pinche chillón. Wow. Oh. I started crying like when we were arguing and I was out in public, obviously. It's a theme party, there's nowhere where I can go and go hide or anything like that. As we were arguing, I remember there was like a lot of people who kept staring at me. It was probably people who didn't even know me, maybe some people that did know me, but I just remember a lot of people were staring. Obviously, if you see like two people arguing, you're gonna stare. But any pienses that we were making like a big old drama. Mm. We weren't arguing like, bitch, what the fuck am I doing? Bitch, like it wasn't an argument like that, but we were like, um, like we weren't yelling like, wow. Like, it wasn't anything like that. It was really calm. But I think just by the way people saw our face expressions and the way we, like, our movements, I guess, and, like, me fucking crying like a little stupida, um, people were able to tell that I was crying. And I remember a few of my supporters recognized me. Mm. I can tell when someone recognizes me. Like, there's little certain things that... Like, there's little certain things que hacen that I'm like, oh, okay, like, they recognize me. So usually I'll be like, hey, stupida, hey, perra, and, like, start conversation with you guys. Pero obviously, I was going through an argument right now, so I wasn't going to be like, <laughs> yo estaba de pinche chido. And so the last thing I wanted was for someone to come up to me. But I, like I told you guys, I noticed that a few people recognized me and were staring at me, but didn't ask me for a picture porque me vieron. But there was actually, like, one person who did end up coming up to me. I'm not mad. I don't hate you. If you ever watch this and you're like, holy fuck, that was me. But it just was not the right time. And I kind of wish I did have a little more privacy. But one of my supporters came up to me and asked me for a picture. And yo ahí pinche chillando. Like, I was literally crying. And immediately, like, I was like, holy shit. Like, ni me la esperaba. I didn't expect someone to come up to me. So, like, I just turned around, wiped my fucking tears. And I was like, <laughs> No, I'm kidding, but I got myself together and I took a picture with her. Yeah, that was it. But that's the only reason I say that I wish I had a little more privacy. I don't know if I made any sense during that, but let's pretend that I did. What are some key traits you look for in someone? Hmm. I feel like my answer is kind of basic, but they're very important. Like, it's something that everyone wants and everyone wishes, but the difference is that I take it very serious. <laughs> really, all that I ask for in a relationship is obviously someone who can treat me well, someone who's very funny. I love anyone who can make me laugh. Like, if you can make me laugh, bitch, I'm a tienes. Someone being respectful. But like, the two things that are super, 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 like, important to me are honesty and loyalty. Obviously, quien no va a querer eso in a relationship? But I'm not just like, I want honesty and loyalty. Like, I take that shit so serious. Like, I won't get into a relationship unless I know I can trust someone and I know they're gonna be loyal. But like, if we're in the dating phase, y ya me estás mintiendo, or not taking me serious, that's just when I'm like, mm-mm. Like, I won't even get into a relationship with that person. And what I mean by honesty, I also mean like, little white lies. I Like, I just need someone who's gonna be honest with me and not lie to me about like, even little things. Because the way I see it is, if they can lie to me, about little things, like little white lies, then it's not going to be hard for them to lie to me about something bigger. Y si me salen mal en una de esas cosas, fuera. 
It's just important to me, bitch, and it should be for every one of you. Sepan su valor, estupidas. No dejes que un estupido te trate mal. By the way, if I have food in my mouth, I'm so sorry. What's the hardest thing about meeting a guy? Ooh. I think for me, the hardest thing about meeting a guy is knowing if they accept the fact that I do makeup. Pero deja les digo, that gets in the way of so many things for me. Mm. Let me start off by saying that I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. Obviamente on my Instagram or when I film, you guys always see me arreglado, but that's because I need to like hella perra for you guys. Like a ustedes solo les enseño lo mejor porque es lo que se merecen. Lo mejor. I mean, right now I look a little bummy, but that's just because we're doing a chill sit down mukbang video. <gasps> ya ensucié mi pinche bata. Oh my god, and it's all white and I just dirtied it. On a daily basis, I don't always wear makeup. So sometimes I'll meet a guy who meets me without makeup. But then once they find out that I do makeup, some of them are kind of like, ooh. Like they're turned off by that. Which I get it, you know, everyone has their preferences, everyone knows what they like, y todo esa cosa, so I don't blame them. But that, it, but that does get in the way of a lot of things. Like I'll meet a guy who really likes me and stuff, but then they find out I do makeup and they're kind of turned off by that. Yeah, me? A mi que me importa, lárgate. The way I see it is if you're not going to set me for the way I am, with or without makeup, then you don't deserve me at all, stupido. Like, it's annoying because I'm the same person, except sometimes I wear makeup and sometimes I don't. Y a mí como que me saca de onda, but at the same time, like I said, I get it, you like what you like. But I'm like, if you like my personality, and you like the way I am, but once I put makeup on, it's a different story. Like, a mí, I'm kind of just like, that's pendejo. So whenever I meet someone and I'm not wearing makeup, it's always something that's in the back of my head. Because I'm like, I wonder if they're going to feel the same way or still want to talk to me after they find out that I do makeup. You're missing out, not me. <laughs> I want to try this paleta now. <gasps> oh, oh my god, look at this. <gasps> this looks so bomb. It's all the little pepinos. This is so good. Y no sean mal pensados while I'm eating this paleta. Let me enjoy it in peace. How many boyfriends have you had? I get asked this a lot. And honestly, I think it's because ustedes piensan that I'm a little pirujita. Which I kind of am. No, I'm kidding. It is so fucking good. Like, so good. Because I'm always eating pepino with like tajin and shit. This is literally so bomb. Anyways, I've only really been in like two relationships. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Well, technically four, but you know, I'm one of those people. <clears throat> but you know, I'm one of those people who's like, but these don't count. Yes, bitch, I'm one of those. If you want to be like really technical, then I've been in like four relationships, but the first two I don't really count because they were just like stupid. Like, you don't chamaco, I don't really know what the fuck I was doing. And they lasted like fucking less than a month. But if you want to be fucking technical, then I've been in four relationships. And I know you guys see me talking about hella hombres and shit. So you're like, uh uh, bitch, we know you lying. <laughs> Mira, estupidas, como les dije, I do talk to some people, but getting into a relationship, ese es otro rollo. I don't get into relationships with just everyone. Like I told you guys, I take that shit really serious. Yo no soy cualquiera, yo sí me doy valor. So I'm really picky with who I actually get into a relationship with. Pero allá de andar cotorreando with guys, eso sí no me importa. <laughs> but like to actually get into a relationship, I take that shit really serious. And I'm not just gonna hop into a relationship with just anyone. And that's the tea. Se me están durmiendo las pinches patas ya. This is a good one, bitch. Have you ever dated someone who doesn't know about your social media life? Ay, estupidez. Déjame acomodo para esta. Because, bitch, this is a story. Ay, se me está cayendo. This is what I hate about fucking paletas. They melt y no me dejan comerme las a gusto. So let me start off by saying that typically, that's what I look for. When I'm looking for a relationship, I kind of look for someone who doesn't really know about my social media life. Pero I don't keep the doors closed for anyone who does. Like, I'm just throwing that out there in case you're watching this, you want to hit me at. 
No, but um, the reason I usually the reason I usually look for someone who doesn't know about my social media life is just because that kind of does get in the way of a lot of things that me in. Like, there's just so much that goes into that. Like, honestly, I'm gonna go there and say that my relationship life is like the number one most affected thing due to social media for a lot of different reasons that I can fucking talk about and get into for hours and hours. But anyways, yes, I've dated. Yes, I've dated, not as in gone on a relationship, but like gone on dates with a few people who know nothing about my social media life. And that to me kind of feels a lot better. Because don't get me wrong, I love talking about my social media, like answering people's questions and stuff. But it's such like a little break when I go on a date with someone who knows nothing about my social media and doesn't really ask me anything that has to do with social media. No me lo tomen a mal, eh? But you know, taking a little break from that and hanging out with someone who like doesn't really care about social media or knows about my social media world and doesn't ask me anything about that is kind of like a little, ah, like a little break, a little breather. The fuck? Did you guys hear that? Pinche fantasma. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this next question is literally perfect because it goes off what I just talked about. It's, have you ever been on a date and stopped by a fan? So yes, I actually have a little story time for you guys. So whenever I go on a date, I try not to really go anywhere that public or somewhere where I know that a lot of people are going to recognize me. Again, no lo tomen a mal. Oh my god, estoy tirando por todos lados. But anyways, I do it because I want to have a little privacy. But this one time, I fucked up. <laughs> you know what? That's going everywhere. So this one time I went on a date with a guy and this guy that I went on a date with He knew nothing about my social media world nada like it was only our first date And it was like the second time we ever hung out So I didn't even think about mentioning it to him because to me like I'm not just gonna tell everyone like when I meet them like oh by the way I'm on social media. Oh by the way I'm on social media. Like, Oh by the way my YouTube channel like like I hold off on all that stuff. Like, si en verdad si me interesa, and I end up actually liking them, I will tell them. Pero this guy, it was only my second time hanging out with him. It was my first date with him. And, yo de menso, we ended up going to this place where I should have just thought about it. Like, I should have thought about it. I don't even know why I didn't think about it. But every time I go to this place, I get recognized a lot. Yeah, me no me importa. Like every time I go there, like I love taking pictures with you guys. Like I just todo en el ambiente. Like, <laughs> but taking someone there on the first day without them knowing anything about my social media life was not the right thing to do. <laughs> so we went to this place y nos la estamos pasando bien. And the whole day was so perfect. Like to me, it was so perfect. It was so much fun. I had a great time. Like anything you could imagine on a date, it was amazing. Y ya saben, yo bien encantada. Like, I was so in love with this guy. Well, I'm not gonna say love because I barely even knew him. But, like, just from what I had seen and hung out with him, like, this guy hit me. Like, <sighs> like, bitch, I fell for this guy. Like, fell all the way down to hell. Like, I fell so hard for this guy. Pero we went to this place and we were having such a perfect day. Pero during the day, little by little, I started getting a lot more recognized. And at first, él como que se sacaba de onda. Like, he was like... And I was just like... Ugh. Like, the first person who came up to me to ask me for a picture, I almost shit myself. Just because I was like, fuck. Like, what is he gonna think? Like, what is he thinking? Like, that's the first thing that comes into my head. Porque, obviously, if I would have told him, then he would have been like, okay, whatever. But since I hadn't told him anything, he was just kind of like, why the fuck are people taking pictures of you? So as soon as I... So as soon as I take a picture with one person, como que more people start coming. More and more and more and more. And I was like... <sighs> And I was getting so fucking nervous and then people started asking him if he could take the pictures and I was just like Ay Dios mío. So my fucking date was taking my pictures and he was like sacado de onda. So after I took like a million pictures He's like like what's going on? So I briefly kind of explained to him and then I started getting more people coming up to me for pictures and more and more And I couldn't even like get out of it. Like I didn't know what to tell him Y luego no van a creer lo que me pasó estupidas. No van a creer so while I was on this date with this guy, like he was holding my hand and he was like hugging me, you know, like doing all that cute shit. So I think the people who saw me with him kind of put two and two together and were like, oh, they're probably dating, like that's his boyfriend. So a lot of people like assumed he was my boyfriend. So after taking pictures with me, a lot of people started asking him for pictures. Like I'm assuming people were like, oh my God, that's Louis's boyfriend. Like I want to get a picture with him too. 
Stupida. I think... <coughs> shit, I almost choked on the fucking strawberry. <laughs> I think he didn't know how to say no, or estaba sacado de onda, or he didn't understand what was happening. But he started taking pictures with people. Y yo fucking sweating like a pig, like, oh my fucking god, this is all my fucking fault, like, what did I do? So, you know, after a really long day, I took, like, a million pictures with people. So did he. I go on my Instagram while we're driving in the car, and there's a bunch of people who just tagged me in a bunch of pictures. So all over my tag pictures, I just see pictures of me and my boyfriend, who was not even my boyfriend. So after I was in the car with him, yeah, solas, like, all calmed down, I had to literally tell him everything. And I think it hit him, like, really hard, and not in a good way. Because this guy was one of those guys who was also not really on social media. Like, he doesn't care about social media. He doesn't really even use his Instagram. Like, nada de eso. So for me to tell him all these things, how I'm on social media, how I'm on YouTube, show him my social media following and like everything, he was just kind of like, lo saco de onda. Like literally lo saco de onda. And he did not really know what it was. So after that, bitch, let me tell you guys what happened. It's stupid as after that, he literally stopped talking to me. Yeah, me corto de ahí. He stopped talking to me because he said it was too much for him. Oh, you stupid ass. Quería chillar. Like, I was so devastated. I was so sad and so heartbroken. But you know what? No chillé por él. I didn't beg him for another chance. I didn't beg him to give me a chance. Porque ustedes me importan más que el chile. Fíjense. Pa que vean. Like, I got really sad. But I was like, hey, like, this is my life. This is my world. And if someone can't handle that or just won't even allow me or just won't even allow to give me an opportunity, like, allá tu estúpido. Like, I really think it's just because lo saco de onda, he wasn't ready for it. Like, imagine just meeting someone and the next thing you know, you see like a bunch of people taking pictures with them, and then the next second you're like, oh yeah, by the way, like, I'm on social media and do this and do all that. Like, he literally just flipped out and tripped. But besides that, I think this guy was so like, like, perfect. Like, not to be all fucking cheesy and shit, pero para mí era perfecto. Like, he wasn't really on social media, doesn't really care about social media. He was so fucking cute, like, so adorable. He was older than me. Con unos brazotes, ay, Dios mío. Like, just so respectful and so cute. And, and he didn't give a shit that I did makeup. Because when we first met, I was wearing makeup. So, like, no le importó. So, like, everything was just so, like... <laughs> So perfecto. But just like the whole social media thing, he just said he was not ready for that. So on me, I was just like, Ay, que lastima. Que lastima que te vas a largar, estupido. But you know what? I don't care. Hay muchos pescados en el pinche mar. So I ain't even tripping. Okay, otra pregunta. It kind of goes off also what I was just talking about. It says, would you ever choose between your love life and your career? If so, what would you choose? So that's also something that a lot of people have asked me, even my friends. And that's one of those questions that like kind of gets you thinking like, what would you choose? But to me, I would honestly go for my career. And I'm not even saying that to be like all cheesy and be like, yeah, like my career, like fuck them bitches. Like it's, it's true. Like it's true though. I would choose my career and I've done it before. Let me tell you guys that. Guys, lo que yo hago, putting myself on social media, like it's not as easy as like a lot of people think like, oh yeah, let me just take a picture. I'm like, mm, like. I invest so much time into this because this is what I love to do and it's my job. Like, I'm so happy and thankful to even say this is my job. But a lot of people just don't like how much time I invest into this. But to me, I would definitely choose this over a relationship. Like I said, I've done it before and I know that it was the right choice. Because aquí, like, this is, like, my, like, this is what makes me happy. Like, and if for someone to make me choose between, like, it's either me or your job. Like, bitch. I'm gonna choose my fucking job. Porque Chile, I don't desea. I can find another one right now. Like, let me pull up my phone, find the Chile right now. And like, let me get all cheesy and shit, but like, like you guys, all of you stupid that's who are watching right now are such a huge, like huge support system and just give me so much fucking love. Like, ustedes are the reason why I'm such a perra. Like, you guys are the reason that I'm the bitch I am today. Like, when I'm feeling all fucking depressed and sad and shit, like, you guys can just tell. I'll get so many DMs and so many, like, messages from you guys, like, lifting me up, showing me so much love and support, and, like, honestly, I would not trade that for anything. Aquí con ustedes tengo todo lo que necesito. And I don't care how fucking bomb the chile is, I can always find another one. Are you on Tinder, Grinder, or Bumblebee? <laughs> okay, deja les digo algo. So I've been on all three stupidas. 
I've been on Grindr, but honestly, like, Grindr is alright, pero pa mi no me fascina. Because on Grindr, I feel like you just meet a bunch of dry ass people who just want chile. So Grindr for me is not really like the full tea. But I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not gonna lie, I've used Grindr. It's like one of those apps that I always download and delete, download and delete. So if you ever see me on there, hey, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I tried Tinder. But I literally fucking had it for like less than two hours before my account got deleted. And now I'm banned from Tinder. So every time I download Pincha Tinder, I can't even create an account because it says that I'm banned from it. So I'm like, I could have been finding the man of my dreams right now, but porque tú me quisiste ser fucking banned, now I can't get any fucking chili or a man. So Tinder, if you're watching this, and Bumblebee, I recently found. Oh, I recently found out about Bumblebee, and it's literally like Tinder. But I've used it, but honestly, like, dating apps are just not it for me. <laughs> like, it's like it's good to have them there, but I honestly, like, the way I would love to meet someone is, like, someone who I meet face-to-face, -face, person to person. Porque the thing with all these dating apps and stuff is you're really just based off your looks. Which, I mean, no estoy feito. Like, I'm confident in my looks. But I also want someone to know me for my personality. Because, you know, not everyone's gonna love my personality. I know, hard to believe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I don't also like to base off people just off their looks. Like, obviously fucking looks matter, bitch. Pero también the personality does too. Anyways, this is not a question, but it says, La que no es puta, no disfruta. <laughs> totally agree with that. A hundred percent agree with that. Would you ever film a video with one of your Chile appointments? I'm telling you guys. Ustedes estúpidas? Sí que me leen la mente. I've been wanting to film a video like that for the longest time ever. I think since I filmed my first getting ready for a chile appointment video, like I was like, oh my god, what if I film a video with one of my chile appointments? <laughs> I'm so stupid, even just say that sounds so stupid. And I've thought about it, but I don't think I can. I mean, if it were up to me, I'd be so down. But like, I don't know how that'd be, like me asking one of my chile appointments to film a video with me, like, but like, if I could find a chile appointment who's down to do that, like, I would be so down to do it. But I don't know, because a lot of my chile appointments want to keep it low-key. But si no se dejaría, I think that'd be so fucking funny, and a good-ass video. If I ever find one que si se atreve, I am so down. <laughs> But I hope I answered all of you guys' questions y que les gustó este video. If you guys want another Chisme video, please let me know down in the comment section below and I will make sure to do another one. O también déjenme saber what other type of mukbang you guys want me to do porque ya saben que a mí me encanta comer y chismear con ustedes. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up y los veo next time I upload. Peace. Bye, guys.